what's going on guys welcome back to sc outdoors today uh we are doing some fishing obviously um i am not 100 percent sure how today is going to go we got a ton of rain last night um but uh so everything around here is super flooded so that's unfortunate but we're going to try to go west i don't think the rain reached too far west we're going to try to hit a river for some smallmouth um, about an hour and a half west of here um, if that does not work out, there are some trout streams in the area that I think would still be cold this time of year, some nice spring creeks. So I guess that's the backup option, but yeah, not 100% sure how this is going to go. I'd like to get on some big smallies, but um, I would take some trout as well. So we'll see. Um, stay tuned. I guess I will see you guys uh, on the water. And guys, so we are out here, we're on the Juniata River to start things off today and I guess those storms yesterday just washed all these weeds down. It's painful. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do here. Don't really have much with me that'd be like overly weedless. And even still, as you're reeling and it wraps all around your line, I don't know what, what you can do. I'm just using a Sanko, hoping I can just get that to drop in, twitch it around a little bit, not move it too much, and maybe find a fish that way. But it's tough so far. Like a dink, but it's great. This fish jumped up there too. I think there's smaller ones up there though. Yeah, I saw a couple of little ones like that water over here. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Yeah, dude. Switch off the Sanko. Grub's bigger than he is, but that's all right. <laughs> I don't know why the fish activity is all right here. Well, I appreciate the enthusiasm, buddy, but where's your dad? There we go. Yeah. It's another little one. Oh, yeah. Found the nursery. It's not bad, I guess. There we go. Uh, I thought he was a lot bigger. <laughs> I thought he was big at first. He's a little one. He had me going. Hit like a champ. Got a good one. I thought it was a rock. Trav, I got something big. I don't know what it is.
I think I have a catfish. Big smallie. Yes, dude. That's a big one. Come here. Come here, baby. Yes. yes. Yeah, buddy. He's just fat. Man, that's a good fish. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. That's what we've been waiting for right there. Let's go. Man, look what that fish did to this hook. It's very cheap, but really killed this hook. Man, fighting in that current, I thought I had a catfish. It felt so heavy, even on 12 pound tests. That was rad. These hooks are great because they can bend back out pretty easily if you get stuck or something like that, but they are pretty cheap. That's awesome. guy super cool spot though I mean you can't really beat this standing out on these rock islands fishing these deep drops it's got to be another big bass down there nice As soon as it hit the water. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, this one doesn't feel terrible. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. 
better than we've had anyways. Alright folks, last cast. Let's see if we can get one more bass. Uh, I got bit. Well, you can't leave on a bite, you know what I mean? One more cast. Cast bass. Just a little one. Second last cast. I guess I kind of cheated a little bit. Second last cast bass. But it's alright. This is going to be our last bass of the day. See you, buddy. Not a bad day for a new spot and everything. Um, enjoyed exploring the area at the very least. Um, there's some cool stuff. Uh, fun to kind of like island hop across this this river and just hit the pockets. Um, tough river though with a lot of weeds. Um, you get stuck a lot. It's not overly deep most places. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. That one bass was really nice. That kind of made the day for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you next time here on SC Outdoors.